33 foot trailer uh, but they're perfectly happy so their main thing as long as I'm there feeding them and giving them water and giving them their petting when they want meow meow why don't you come check out in the basement Blackie I mean isn't that all exciting down there yeah I'm pointing there he's looking at me when I point look at that Blackie yeah go there yeah yeah what Maybe I should put some food in here just for you, eh? Some good old wet food that Diana sent. You love that pate, eh? He does. He loves that pate. He loves all food, but the pate, uh, the, well, it's, it's not necessarily the pate. It's the flavor of the pate. He just wolves it down. It's good because I need to put his cranberry uh, powder, like from the little capsules, for his. Because he seems to get a, a urinary infection. Because I start to see a little bit of blood. I get rid of it all. He's fine. And then, you know, I, I take him off the cranberry for a while and then it comes back. So, yeah. I think you're going to go to the vet before we go to Sabo Beach in August. Yeah, because I, I, uh, I can only go so far with you with that, buddy. But, I mean, he's happy, perfectly healthy. His poop is normal. Um, otherwise, when he does pee with his regular yellow, it, it you know goes on the pretty litter and it shows me the right color and everything. So his pH isn't too high or anything like that. Hey, pal. Hey. Look at all those windows you can look out. I mean, this is going to be exciting. I see how they are when we're driving, eh? They may not like it that we'd be getting bounced around. But I suspect that they're going to want to go up on the bed and I'll throw some blankets up there that, you know, with my smell on it. Because that blanket hasn't got my smell on it. But I'll bring my blankets with my smell on it and they'll probably just kind of keep there. Once we've been on the road for a few hours, I could see one of them coming up to the front laying on the dash. So, And it might just be Blackie. He'd be the one. Goldie, I'm not so sure. Goldie... Like if I'm sitting up not laying down on the couch, if I'm sitting up doing my work on the big screen TV, she'll come and sit right next to me. And uh, she'll stay there half the day if I stay like that. Oh, my coffee's got, is lukewarm. Yeah. My coffee's lukewarm, Blackie. How can you guys see? Blackie, Blackie, over here, this way, buddy. I don't want your tail. I'm trying to get you turned around. <laughs> he just, he's like, boom, right on my back. You know, the one thing I haven't tested is the heater in quite some time. And oh God, it's been over a month because Wayne was saying you should run it once a month. I'm trying to think a way to run it in the middle of summer, once a month. Anyway, I may not have to do that. We'll see. What do you think, little man? You seem pretty happy. You're just excited. Something new. Wally isn't here with you or your mummy. Goldie the girl, our little princess. Yeah, we're going to go back inside soon. Yeah. Daddy's not too hungry today for some reason. Yeah. Had a couple of pieces of toast and three coffees, and I'm like, I'm not hungry at all, and I haven't taken my Ozempic injection, which will be happening here in the next hour or so. And then uh, it's getting around time to feed them their wet food. The Hannah Godfrey, so nicely sent to us. And Blackie likes the pate, the seafood stuff, eh? You like that seafood stuff? I'll catch you a, I'll catch you a trout, Blackie. Eh? How about a bass? Trout, I'll eat. You can have the bass. Bass to me is pet food. I hate bass. I hate catching them. To me, they're a garbage fish. They're not even natural in these parts. They were illegally stocked. Oh. They were illegally stocked by people back in the 50s and lakes around here. Otherwise, none of these lakes, they were either walleye, you know, pike, that kind of thing, uh, or trout lakes. But somebody started in the 50s is when it happened. And it killed the walleye populations of a lot of lakes. And the trout. 
you know, they're, they're the smallmouth bass to me, they're both bass are to me an invasive species for this area. So I always tease the American fishermen. It's like, yeah, you like bass fishing because it's a no mind fish because you're not you're not willing to take a, a day and catch nothing going after walleye or, uh, you know, steelhead in the Georgian Bay or rainbows out here in the middle of nowhere or brook trout. Same thing. That's that takes work and a little bit of patience. Most people don't. They want to catch that bass so they can yell and scream and put it on YouTube. No thanks, man. I'd rather fish all day and get nothing than sit there and try and catch uh, garbage fish. I'd rather catch sunfish and crappie and perch than I would bass. Okay? That's where I'm at. What do you think, buddy? You agree, eh? You agree with anything as long as I feed you, eh? Yeah. I'm just getting the lovey dubbies here big time. You're okay. Yeah. Oh, look who's here. You're okay. You're all right. Yeah. All right. It's okay, Blackie. Daddy won't abandon you. The whole idea is just to try and start getting... Oh, there's the first mosquito I've killed in here. Oh, down on the floor now. Are we going to go investigate? No, we're just going to meow at the ceiling? Okay. Why don't you go investigate? That's what cats do. No. I figured he'd be the first one I, to, I mean, I, like I said, I had three of them out here. What was it? New Year's Eve. We did a live show with them. Uh, Wally was not, it wasn't working with Wally, but I think Wally, cause he's very possessive of me. Like he gets jealous of the other two if I start petting them too much. So I think the trick is, okay, both cats are not in the window anymore. So they're like on the couch with him. He ain't coming back. Think Wally misses you? Hey, do you miss Wally? Hey, do you miss Wally Blackie? No? You don't care as long as you're here with Daddy, right? You're lying, because I know you love Bla uh, Wally. Yeah, you're lying. Because you love Wally, I know that. They sleep together, they, you know, they play together. <sighs> oh, and he's back in the window again, looking this way. He's not a stupid cat, he knows, eh? Like I say, I'll bring him out by himself like I did with Blackie here. Now, him, it's going to take longer, so I might try and spend the night. I'll bring the laptop out here, and we'll watch some TV or something. And uh, you YouTubes, because, I mean, I've got high-speed internet right here. So, um, we'll just have to see. Uh, I think with wally as long as it's like just me here we keep it down keep it quiet play some music in the background i'll lay down on the bed and uh, he'll fuss for a while but i'm pretty sure i can get him to acclimate so then the next step will be her i'll bring her by her i'll do each one by themselves we'll film it and uh then we'll bring them in you know blackie wally and then maybe uh Goldie and Blackie, definitely not just Blackie and Goldie. That's not going to work. So Blackie, Goldie, and then the three of them. You know what we should do, eh, Blackie? We should get some food into this thing. We got, we're starting to get, I got pots and pans and everything. That's what those blue boxes were about. That's all the camping gear. So I'm starting to get the gear in here. So, but I mean, I've got cupboards I can fill with stuff. Oh, that's the water section. And, uh, hey, I haven't tried the electric water pump. Is it working? Let's see. I don't know if it's on or not. There's a switch here for it. Let's see. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Maybe there's no water in it. I thought there was water in it. Unless I broke a hose and I've got water spraying everywhere underneath there, but I don't see any water spraying. <laughs> see, this is one of those things where, oh, I don't think there's any water in the tank or it's very low if it is anything. Yeah. 
Now, where is that deadbolt? I guess the deadbolt. Oh, there it is. Here I am looking at it lower. I'm looking for it lower. But, you know what I mean? Like, it's, uh, he has it. Well, of course, Wayne, he's so smart, eh? Of course, he put it up high where it's easy to get, get to. He's not a, he's not a dummy by any stretch of the imagination. So, actually, Wayne is one of those guys that is just, uh, you know, Hey, buddy. Yeah. So what do you think? Daddy's coffee's lukewarm. We're not going to... Oh, let's turn that sound system off. And I think I'll unplug it as well. We'll check the power to see if the power drops significantly with this running. Well, we might just end up sticking with the, uh, the little boom box. That's all we can do, Blackie. Hey, we don't want to spend any money on anything for a sound system, at least until something else comes along. But it's going to have to be a modern one because of Spotify and my phone and everything. So, see, I wanted to put a small TV up here that swings out. And then behind here, in fact, you probably love hiding in here. There, You know, there's place to put, you know sound system equipment and everything what's this oh i thought that was the speaker it was like hey but no it's not uh -uh. i don't know what that is there are things in here i have no idea what they are is that a light maybe oh wait a minute i think i know what that that's for this how do you turn that on little switch Oh. oh, wait a minute. 60 seconds, 20 seconds on. Okay, so I went. That's. Oh, you know what? Yeah, okay. <laughs> we need the battery. Okay, so that's one of these little light strips. He's got them everywhere in here. And I mean, uh, when you turn all the big lights off and put those on, it's, you know, it's got quite the effect, eh? Oh, well, well, you're doing what you do to me in the kitchen, so you must be happy. Sometimes when I'm walking around the kitchen, he just purposely, I think, wants me to trip over him. Why don't you come up here on the bed, Blackie? It's easy. Right here. Let me move the chainsaw. Well, the chainsaw can go under here. There, come on up here, Blackie. Blackie. Blackie, come up here. Come on. Blackie. No, this way, you silly bird. Blackie, come here. There's a good boy. Now come up here. Come on. Come on. Now you're going to investigate everything, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Meow. Meow. He's normally not this talkative, so I mean, he's... Oh, there we go. Good boy, Blackie. That's a good boy. And look at, see, look at that window you get to look out. Totally different than the trailer, isn't it? How about up here, buddy? You make it up here? Well, there's a good boy. See? He's like, get that bright light out of my face. See, this is where you and I and... And I'll end up with all three of you, and I know what, exactly what's going to happen. Goldie will be here at my head. Blackie will be pretty much right here. And Wally will be down there at my feet. And that's where they're going to want to sleep. I can tell you that. Absolutely. That's what's going to happen. He started to grab at me like, hey, pet me, man. What do you think, pal? You like it? You got dandruff, Blackie. You know that? Yeah. I don't know how to solve cat dandruff. I've never seen cat dandruff before, but of course I've never had a black cat before, so you're my first. I had a little kitten that died, unfortunately, when I was really young, like back in the 60s. And our cat um, muffin had kittens, and there was one that was kind of like a gray-black. So at that time, I mean, it was probably one of my first times I'd ever seen charcoal in a grill and everything. So my first inkling was I wanted, well, I wanted to keep the cat. And my mom said, well, yeah, you can, but, you know, you got to take care of him. And so what's his name going to be? And I said, 
Charcoals. My mother's like, what? Charcoals. Anyways, Charcoals was my little cat. Unfortunately, they went down in the basement where we lived at that time. Hey, pal. And there was a board standing up. Now, you got to remember, Charcoals was probably eight weeks old max. And uh, he somehow knocked the board and it whacked him right in the head. And it was a heavy board. Anyways, he was damaged. We had to bring him to the... Uh, to the vet. The vet wasn't sure. So he says, take, take him home and see. Well, he started acting funny. And I mean, like, I mean, the, the, one of the first things that ever happened was he started doing the Hitler salute, you know, with his paw just out of the blue. Anyways, uh, he was still bleeding from uh, his poop and pee. And uh, my mother thought the best that we put him down. So we brought him back to the vet. And that was the end of Charcoal's. So Charcoal's had a very short life, but he's the closest thing I've had to a black cat. I've had an all gray cat. That was RZ, the cat, with one little white spot. Russian blue hair is what, uh, his, uh, what he was. A good cat, RZ. He, RZ was named after the motorcycle. It was a two-stroke street bike that guys used to race, red and white Yamahas. The RZ 350s, these things were just monster killers. I mean, fast, fast, two-stroke, scream up and down the roads. Uh, I mean, they weren't dirt bikes, eh? They were meant for a uh, racetrack. Anyways, uh, RZ used to get flying around, you know, when cats start flying around, doing all that. So anyways, uh, that's how he got his name, RZ the cat. I had him for a long time, and then uh, I moved to a farm out in Manatick on Jockville Road, and that's no longer there. That road still exists, but anything that was there does not exist anymore. Anyways, this big old farm. So RZ was always an outdoor cat and in and out kind of thing. Anyways, one morning he wanted to go out, so I let him out, and he didn't come back. So I waited another day, didn't come back. Third day, I'm like, okay, that's unusual. So I started looking around and that piece of property had like 500 acres, but it was all like farmland that was leased to somebody. So it was kind of open, kind of not. Anyways, uh, I ended up finding him dead in a foxhole. So I've concluded from that time that he tangled with a fox and lost, which surprises me because I would think that a cat would win in a fox, but who knows? I mean, maybe just something got advantage of him or it could have been a coyote that got him out there. I don't know. I don't think wolves. The coyote, uh, I've always said.